You're watching today's Homesteader Channel here at Peaceful Valley Ranch in Cotopaxi, Colorado, starring yours truly, Johnny Jules. All right, Homesteader family, I hope everybody's having a good day. It's uh, 8 after 11 in the morning, uh, well, Wednesday, I believe, December 6th. And so far, my uh, thermometer's reading 24 degrees outside. I went down the canyon to get some big bones because I'm hoping that Mickey was good last night and didn't cause any issues and if he did it I'll have a big bone for him and that will help you know keep him occupied so he doesn't get bored or anything like that I know he likes hanging out with the pigs so he's not lonely because he's got the pigs to hang out with so I'm just, I got my fingers crossed, my hopes up high, and I'm hoping like all get out that everything's okay. So we're going to be finding out. I'm only, I want to say probably about five miles or so away from the homestead, Peaceful Valley Ranch. So it's a beautiful day, a few puffy clouds here and there, but for most part it's all crystal blue skies it was uh, nine degrees again last night so that's two nights in a row that it's been down to nine degrees at night uh, one of my neighbors over by hummingbird said at quarter to six when she woke up it was two degrees out so she said it's been getting down to two degrees every night and then by the time I've been getting up 8 8 30 it's nine degrees so apparently it's colder than what I thought it's been. But that's why I got that wood stove that I built. So I've had the wood stove going three days straight now. I went ahead and restocked the barrel with wood before I went to Canyon to pick up propane, pick up gas for the truck, and pick up the bones for Mickey and Minnie. So it was a quick $120 day down to Canyon and now out here. So. I stopped at the Cotopaxi store. I got some eggs, bacon, and some toast. And uh, since I'm gonna be coming over here to check on everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and spend the day like I normally do when I come over. So I'll be here until probably three, four o'clock in the afternoon. I'll head home and then go ahead, and start editing this video, get it uploaded to Flora, and get it uploaded to YouTube, and hopefully get it out. Uh, later this evening so you guys can see if everything went smoothly or if everything didn't go smoothly so we're getting ready to find out and I'll tell you taking this drive over here every day or every other day never gets old the views that I have minus the electric lines that you just saw I mean like that big mountain in front of us I almost said hill, but this ain't hill country over here. This is mountain country. Because uh, it looks like hills on Peaceful Valley Ranch, but the highest one is actually 9,420 or 460 feet in elevation. I, I don't remember now. It's been a while since I looked at all the charts. But I mean, that's no hill. That's a mountain right now, right there. I mean, over 9,000 feet. That's no longer a hill. So, keep your fingers crossed, everybody. I got Max and Minnie in the back. Of course, you know, Minnie's gonna be happy. She'll get to run around a little bit. And then I'll, I'll bring Max out for five, 10 minutes. Let him sniff around. And, take a few more steps because I figure every time I take him out the truck and let him take his five or six steps before he falls down it helps build his legs up and muscles and we're gonna get him up in about hopefully within another week he should be walking no problem and then this information is for Rick if Rick is watching this this driveway going up right there to the left is where the guy's building his new house for that address that I sent you 
uh, for his house being sold. And up here on the left is the property. So part of this down here in the ditch to the left, there's a little horse house with corrals. And then the driveway is right here to the left. Let me see if I can move this. And that's the barn right there that's for sale. And then the house is up on the hill farther up. So just give you an idea, Rick, of where, where it's at and how close you would be. So he's roughly, I want to say, two, two and a half miles from me, somewhere in that range. And then we got this house right here with the white egg sign. They sell eggs. They put a cooler there at the gate to sell chicken eggs for $3 a dozen. And they have signs in a couple spots I've seen advertising the egg. So I assume that they probably do pretty good on the egg business. And then of course, like I said, you know, it's just a beautiful drive. Whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, you have different views. The hills don't change that much except in the fall. In the fall, you can see all the leaves changing, as you've seen in earlier videos. But right now, it's just the evergreens that are still green, and then all the leaf trees are just sticks popping out the ground. Taking up space, waiting for spring to come to have some new leaves put on. And here we are at Wall Mountain Road. So we're only 0.6 miles away from the homestead. So this is where my stomach gets in knots and my nerves get a little twitchy because you never know as a homesteader exactly how things are going to turn out. So I could be coming over here to no issues at all or I could be coming over here to a massacre or just a slight injury. I have no idea. So the good part is once I get up to this hill up here I'll be able to look over and see some of the animals and uh, hopefully see a lot of animals moving around because then I know everything should be good but I won't really know until I get up on the property. I can't see anybody so they might be down and getting water or they might be in the shelters because like I said it's 20 up oh, 23 degrees here now so they might be bundled up in the cold let's cross our fingers and hope that's the case like I said I'm gonna find out once I get up over this hill onto the property see some of them I see five of the goats which is not a good sign and I don't see Mickey so I'll be back with you guys <coughs> all right homesteader family so I'm headed back home I went down and I know why Doty didn't come up the other goats as you saw when I pulled up and why Mickey Mouse didn't come up so apparently he killed Doty sometime between yesterday after I left and sometime this morning when I got here so I went ahead I decided to pull him out of the pen he's back on the chain I took the uh, one of the metal shelters and I set it up down by the creek bed and I chained him to the fence 
and uh, so that way he has access to water because this was the whole issue at hand was not him not having water so he's down at one end of the pen so I'm hoping because he was at the other end of the pen chained up that he's urinated and defecated enough times to keep a strong odor up at the top end of the pen because now he's down at the bottom end of the pen so you know I don't I don't know for mountain lions or what have you but you know I'm hoping nothing else happens so I don't know what it was about Dodie that Mickey and Minnie didn't like her. They've never attacked any of my other goats. They never attacked Mimi. Only thing I could think about was Dodie was so vocal and she was always bleeding. If, you know, that might be the case on why they went after her. Um, I noticed like when I left today, uh, Mimi doesn't sit there and scream like Dodie does. So I don't know if the screaming is what the dogs didn't like or whatnot. So we got a cold Arctic front coming in. We have a real cold haze that started setting in. That's why I'm going home. Uh, I went ahead. I got Dodie out of the pen because the pigs were trying to eat Dodie. And uh, I didn't want the pigs getting into the goat. So I got her out the pen, took her over to that dry creek bed on the other side of <coughs> on the other side of the property, and uh, got like I said, got Mickey out of the pen. So he's not in with the goats. He's not in with the pigs. So he's on lockdown right now. And the bone that I got from Walmart's not going to him. He won't get that. For several weeks so once I get home Minnie Mouse is in the back um, I'll go ahead and give her one of the bones and it looks like you know I'm gonna have to get Max to get in that pen as soon as possible one as he's small so I don't make the same mistake that I made with Mickey and Minnie if that's the case <laughs> of me not putting them in soon enough you know I don't know if it's that or like I said if it was because Dodie was so loud and vocal that they didn't like that I don't know so for now Mickey's outside of the pen chained up on the outside and uh, that way he has access to the creek so he can have water and uh, after this video ends, then I'll go ahead and put up a picture of what his setup looks like because I took a snapshot on the way out. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down and watch some videos or something. So I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to take a moment and say thank you guys for watching my videos, for donating, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it and it really means a lot to me. And remember, live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.